Hi everybody, Matthew Murano here. Um, October 14, Blackmagic Design just released uh, version 8.1 of Resolve that supports uh, the Final Cut Pro 10 XML format. So uh, we'll go through the process of doing a round trip together. Here we go. So we open Final Cut Pro 10. And I've already uh, edited a small uh, timeline here in Final Cut Pro 10. So we have the first clip. Uh, which is a stretch clip. Uh, right now it's at it's playing at 50% bringing badges to show you. This is the original clip and I apply a 50% slow motion on it so it will play slower for the benefit of the test we're doing right now. And uh, then uh, there we go, play slowly. Then we have second clip on the second of what we would call a track but it's not. And it's attached, uh, it's connected to the first clip with uh, the little mark over there. Then we have a third clip which will, which cuts to from the second one and bring in, brings us to a transition, a crossfade, to another clip, and the last one. So now we would need to export those to, um, to resolve. So we go to the, the project window, select our uh, project and then go to export XML there you select the name there's no other option to select so uh, it's basic export and you save it there we go then you will have to close Final Cut Pro 10 and open Resolve 8.1 when you open Resolve you choose your user and you can go directly to the conform page, conform tab, and uh, select the load button to go and open Im or import the XML. The page will open and ask you what if the settings are okay. Be sure to select automatically import the source files from the source clip from the media pool in the media pool. And then boom, we have a timeline coming from Final Cut Pro X, Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, we have the first clip playing in slow motion. We have then the uh, to the second clip which was connected to the first one. Now it's on the second track. And we still have the overlap from the third clip. And we're going into transition. We see if the transition is still there. Yes it is. And the last clip. So now we can go to the color tab and uh, grade all those shots. So we'll do it just for the purpose of uh, doing the round trip and seeing the color change, all the color change going back to FCP 10. So I'll just add a little more contrast, going to the green, give it a little look, and copy grays to the other clips. Here we go. So we have graded five clips. I have to save the project. Be sure to save the project so the, all the information will save back in the XML that, that uh, will do the round trip. And uh, we have to go do the renders. So select the FCP XML round trip uh, preset. And then uh, since they were sh these shots were shot in uh, H.264, um, I don't want to stay in that format. I want to go to ProRes LT, then find a folder where I want to uh, save the renders. There it is. Test resolve. And I'll just go and add a slash render. So this way resolve will create a new folder called render with all the renders in it. Now go to render. There we go. So uh, I'm on a brand new iMac. Uh, with uh, 8 gig RAM and uh, an SSD as a um, system hard drive running on a Pegasus Thunderbolt drive so it goes pretty fast. The render is actually quicker than real time so okay so now render is done, close the render window and go back to the conform page uh, select your timeline and save. Then, with your timeline selected in the timeline manager, quick ex cl click export and choose 
FCP XML file, FCPX XML file as the as the output format and save. I don't know if you've seen, but uh, Resolve saved it with a uh, Resolve mention in the name. So now we're gonna close Resolve and open Final Cut Pro 10. In Final Cut Pro 10, uh, you just go to Import XML and go select the uh, XML coming from Resolve. Click Import, and now you have a new timeline, a new project project in your uh, project window, and boom, you have the timeline with the um, slow motion. The second clip still connected. It's not another track. It's not anything. It's still connected at the same place. You got a third clip still overlapping, the cross is always still there, and the last clip, and everything is graded. So we, we have all the clips. And if we go to transition, open it, we see that we are we have all the handles that were there um, before we sent it to uh, resolve. So everything is there and it works fine. So thank you, this was Matthew Morano for Final Cut Montreal. Uh, come back, we'll have more uh, tutorials and uh, demos for a round trip with Final Cut Pro 7, Final Cut Pro 10 and Resolve that will be posted shortly. Thank you.